The biggest worry I have, well there's two, two worries, one is that the out campaign have superficially appealing arguments that appear to be winning arguments, like do you think your legislators and your judges should be foreign or British? Do you think it's better to spend £12 billion a year on the National Health Service or the EU budget? And do you think the British government should control British borders and decide who comes into the country? And if the answer to, the, to those questions is, is uh, yes, then you know, you're going to vote for out. Well, the, the case for staying in about foreign direct investment, free trade agreements, access to the single market. These are complicated economic numerical arguments, quite hard to explain and quite boring. So I think, in a way, the devil has the best tunes. That's one reason that, uh, that, I, that I'm a bit worried. Um, the other reason, of course, is the refugee crisis. Um, it makes the EU look out of control, incompetent, badly managed, and it may get a lot worse, as you know, in the referendum. It may be that the Schengen system, as we know it, has sort of collapsed or partly collapsed by the time of the referendum. It may destroy Angela Merkel. And people will say, the out campaigns will say, do you want to be part of this club that's falling to pieces? Look at the mess they've made in Schengen. And look how that could affect Britain, because all these refugees coming into Germany, they'll be given German passports in a couple of years, and they can march into Britain, the Syrians. In fact, of course, that's not true. It's incredibly difficult to get a German passport if you're a refugee, and it takes many people much of a lifetime to do so. Nevertheless, the out campaign will make that point. So that's why I'm pessimistic. Yeah. On the optimistic side, two, two points. Firstly, the Tory party is beginning to unite behind Cameron and Osborne's leadership. Yeah. It looks like most of the big beasts in the cabinet will be for in, including <clears throat> Theresa May and probably Boris Johnson. The out campaigners don't have a single senior minister who anybody's heard of to lead them. So they've drafted in Nigel Lawson, who's in his 80s, to play a senior role in the out campaign. And I think most Tory MPs will back Cameron Osborne, so that'll affect the tone of the debate. People will see a Tory party saying stay in Britain, or at least three quarters of the Tory party saying stay in the EU. That's one reason for optimism. My second reason for optimism is that the out campaigners can't tell you what the alternative to the EU is. They cannot agree amongst themselves on whether it should be the Norwegian option in the European Economic Area, the Swiss option of bilateral trade agreements, a free trade, uh, a free trade agreement like Canada has, the customs union like Turkey has, or just WTO rules like most other governments have. So they can't tell you what the alternative is, and I think that's a weakness. The reason they can't tell you is because all the alternatives are pretty dreadful from a British point of view in terms of either you lose sovereignty like Norway does or you don't have access to the single market and that's the, that's the basic deal. Um, so I think that's something that in campaigners can play on and put the out campaigners on the spot. So you don't like the EU so what would you give us instead?